Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be talking about a oxygen not included building, and that's going to be called the Power Control Station. And we're going to be talking about the benefits and how this building could get you a lot more power out of your generator systems. Now, of course, if you guys don't know what the power control station is, this is actually a building that allows you to extract more power at the cost of a little bit of refined metal on your generators. And if you guys didn't know, there is a room overlay called the power plant. You guys do need to have your generators in a power plant along with the power control station to reap its benefits. And before we get it started, you guys can probably check out the room overlay to see how you could build the power plant. We're going to go over first the power control station building in and of itself. Now to get it started, what is this building? How does it work? And what does it do? How does this get me more power? So of course, the power control station building converts your refined metal and allows you to make microchips at this building. Now, of course, each microchip only costs five refined metal. And the amount we have here just shows us how much we have inside the building. So we could see how many microchips we could build. And now the microchip is on the floor right there. And if you guys didn't know, a specialized microchip created by a professional engineer tunes up generators to increase their power output. So the microchips actually increase power by 50%. So when you guys have a microchip, their duplicates are going to be able to install that onto your generators inside the power plants. And by doing so, you could see uh, Bindi right here supplying a microchip to this building, puts it into the building, which allows another duplicate to apply the microchip upgrade to give you a buff called NG Tune-Up. As you could see, this increases your power output just by 50%. This building that normally generates 800 watts is now generating 1200 watts of power at no extra cost of natural gas. So that eats the same amount of natural gas resource, but it just raw output gives you 50% more power. By doing so, it allows your generators to have lower uptime, meaning that they could provide more power in a shorter amount of time with no extra cost outside of the refined metals. As you could see, Clash right here is applying the upgrade. And the upgrade, as you could see, lasts actually a base value of three cycles. Depending on your duplicate's attributes in the machinery skill, they could increase that duration of the tune-up as long as they have a high skill attached to it. So Clash right here has a skill of 24. Normally, you have a base value of three cycles for the NG tune-up. And when Clash finishes it, we'll see how much we get from that. And as you can see, that's 4.8 cycles. That's 60% more. And that's because you take 60% times 3 cycles. You get a 1.8 on top of that. Meaning that this is going to last close to 5. Which means we, we use even less refined metals. Now, of course, let's talk about how this works specifically. The power control station, there's a priority tab in order for you to make the microchips. Now, the thing is, is that your duplicates have to upgrade the generators. Of course, your duplicates will only apply it to the buildings that are from this list, from the power control station, has to be inside the power plant building as well. If it's not inside the room, your duplicates will not apply the microchips to it. And at the same time, you also have to have a good priority set. And what I mean by that is the priorities you can't increase the priority of your duplicates applying the NG tune-up upgrade. Instead, what you have to do is set the priorities of everything else below priority 5 if you're having issues with that. So what that means is that your priority, setting a priority of the generators does nothing for tuning up the microchips. Instead, what you're going to have to do is make sure all the other operating jobs in your base are taken care of or at a lower priority outside of priority 5. So anything lower than 5 on every other operation building is probably something you might want to do if you're having issues with your duplicates applying the buff to your generators consistently. Of course, you also require the skills electrical engineer in order to use the generator to make the microchips and to apply the microchips to the generators. And if you guys are running into that problem, maybe getting more operators is what you're looking for. 
Setting the priority of every other operations building can help this out as well. So if you guys are running to the issue of your duplicates not applying the buff, you guys know it's a priority issue or a number of dupes issue. But of course, guys, that has been the power control station in the power plant room. How to utilize that for 50% more power. And if you guys are curious, the best generator to apply it on is actually the petroleum generator. As the baseline 2,000 kilowatts goes up to 3,000. And that's a lot of extra power. You just increase that from 2K to 3K. <laughs> but of course, guys, if you guys didn't know, you guys have to uh, look on the list to see if, if it works for the generators you guys want to apply it to. If it's not on the list, it shouldn't work. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.